G'day YouTube. So, I've done a thing. I'm going to add a little bit of, uh, a little bit of juice to my off-grid solar. You might have seen the video of me testing one of these before. And, uh, I still had 0.7 of a volt to go and I was already at 160 amp hour. So we're going to call them at least 200 still. So these are Energel 175 amp at a 3 hour rate or 240 amp at a 10 hour rate. I don't know why they got a 3 hour rate on them. Maybe it's a backup thing. But the 10 hour rate is something pretty standard we can look at on a normal battery. Now, 2.25 to 2.3 per cell, which is nice, and 2.45 at 25 degrees C when you want to boost them. So, um, that's awesome. And the next really cool part about that is they're pre-linked into 4 volters. Now, these have been pulled out of a um, backup station somewhere reasonably locally in the state. Obviously, not going to ship them around to recycle them. But I bought these for recycling value. Um, you will notice a few cracks in the tops and things like that. I believe that's probably from when they've carted them out of wherever they've carted them and they've actually stacked them on top of each other on a trolley and the posts have just had pressure on them. Every one of them still displays voltage. I don't believe it's going to be an issue to us. Um, and as you can see, uh, we've got we've got links on some of them. We'll just have to make our own for some others. But there's 23 here, and there's one in the shed already that we were testing previously. I bought one as a sample, and uh, yeah, so there is um, 240 amp hour times 24. So uh, we're looking like 20, 23 kilowatts if you could totally deplete them in the real world. And um, about 500 bucks. A 20 kilowatt hour battery for 500 bucks. So we will. Uh, once these are in service, um, I'll, I'll make a video about putting them in service and showing you how to link them and things like that. They're really good. They've got all their bolts, which makes life a bit easier. But yeah, we'll stack them together and link them. But sadly, they are going in a 12 volt system. I don't have a 24 volt or 48 volt inverter. Everything I've got is 12 volts, so we're stuck with that, unfortunately. I do have a 45 amp MPPT that I'm going to charge them with, which is nice. It's something new I've got to show you as well. That was also a scrapyard find. It's a Morningstar TriStar uh, 45 amp MPPT. Um, yeah, as you can see, there is a few cracks in them. They're not perfect. Um, I don't foresee it to be an issue. Um, they're going to be they're going to stay in this orientation. They're just going to go in a big line with links between them, and uh, we'll use them until their uh, usable life's gone. Uh, they were in a backup in a communication station kind of thing, um, controlling some bits and pieces. Nothing too crazy. Uh, they might have been cycled a few times as tests, but um, yeah, they weren't actually used as a storage battery every day. Uh, we're going to link them into blocks of 12 volts, so we only need three to make 12 volts at 240 amp hours. So those three, those three, there's nearly 500 amp hours at 12 volts straight away. Like it's going to be fairly significant. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd show you what they look like now before I get them all out and Put them all in the shed and start making that video. That's going to be a little bit of work, so um, I'll have to make a cool video out of that and time lapse putting them all together and all that kind of thing. But uh, I haven't been able to find these exact ones um, for sale, but I can't imagine they'd be cheaper being uh, four volts in a brick pre pre made in pairs like that. Most things you find are two volts. Um, so yeah, these are kind of cool. Um, yeah, I will come back with some more info for you. And um, we'll be able to do some charge and discharge tests. We might even just run a kilowatt hour meter straight off the inverter. Get them charged, disconnect their in feed and just, just charge them and see how many kilowatt hours we get before we reach the uh, low cut on the inverter.
So a little bit cool test, but uh, she's a five hundred dollar twenty kilowatt battery. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll uh, keep you updated on the progress. More videos on this side. Subscribe buttons on this side. Go and subscribe to my automotive channel. It's about to fire up. We have a couple of project cars we need to get finished, and uh, we'll be back for more. Thanks for watching.